An inverse function undoes another function. To test if functions are inverses, we calculate f of g of x and g of f of x. The same answer to both should be x. If we take f and g, or f of x and g of x, and we want to find out if the functions are inverses of each other, we can first try f of g of x. This will give us 3 times whatever g of x is, minus 8. Since we know g of x is x over 3 plus 8, we can rewrite this as x plus 24 minus 8. So f of g of x is equal to x plus 16. We don't have to try g of f of x since this one didn't come out as just plain old x. We know this is not an inverse. or they are not inverses of each other. However, if we look at example two, let's try f of g of x in example two. We know g of x is five over x minus six plus three. So I'm going to rewrite f of g of x as f of five over x minus six plus three or this is equal to when f of x is just plain old f of x we get five over some amount for x minus three plus six. I've left room now for the five over x minus six plus three. From here, let's simplify what we have. This gives us five over five over x minus six. Add three, subtract three gives us zero plus six. If we write this as a complex, complex fraction, we get five over one times, flipping the fraction over and multiplying, x minus six over five plus six. Notice that when we flip the second fraction over and multiply, our fives divide out and we get x minus six plus six or just plain old x. So this is a good sign. One of the 
inverse functions came out to be x. So now let's see if the other one works. So we're going to try the opposite. g of f of x equals g of, we know f of x to be 5 over x minus 3 plus 6. So now if we rewrite that, we get g of 5 over x minus 3 plus 6 equals 5 over some value minus 6 plus 3. If we plug this value of x in for the empty space where x was, we get 5 over x minus 3 plus 6. So, we have 5 over 5 over x minus 3 plus 6 minus 6 gives us 0 plus 3. We have a fraction in the denominator, so I'll flip that over and multiply. So now I have 5 over 1 times x minus 3 over 5. 5's divide out. I can't forget to drop down that 3 over here. So I now have x minus 3 plus 3, or just plain old x. So g of f of x is also equal to x. So they both come out as x, so that means the two original given functions are inverses of each other.